Welcome, thank you for joining me. This video will apply to many Volvos with diesel engine and we are going to replace this brake vacuum valve which is the cause for a uh, noise while the engine is running. Let's uh, hear that. Before we continue, I wanted to share with you guys a really, really nice YouTube channel, uh, which is called Uyehal Triple Nine. This is Evgeny from Moscow. This is a different Evgeny. Don't get confused. He is running a channel on his Volvo XC70. He has very, very uh, useful videos on his channel. Unfortunately, they're all in Russian language. There is a lot of useful information. This, his XC70 has a high mileage. He's done so many repairs. For example, a complete overhaul of the rear suspension, which I watched a couple of times because uh, I need to do some work on my suspension. So I wanted to share with you, visit his channel. And if you need to, you can turn on subtitles because it's in Russian and you can change the language uh, which you prefer. For example, English is available and this way you can still watch it uh, without problems. Yes, the translation is not the best, but still a lot better than no translation at all. So visit his channel, very useful. I uh, constantly uh, watch, subscribe to his uh, channel and I hope you enjoy his content. Thank you. Let's begin. This is Evgeny's XC70 d4 with polestar he will perform this repair on his uh, volvo and show us how it's done to gain access to the vacuum pump we need to remove the air box and preferably the battery first we're going to remove the air box and see if we have enough access uh, to the vacuum pump The air box is held with a plastic clip at the bottom on the left there and to properly uh, take it apart so you don't break it, Evgeny is using a 10 millimeter socket and there is another rubber grommet here on the side. So just use a 10 millimeter socket to compress the four uh, leaves and at the same time pull the box upwards to release it, just like that. After removing the air box, there is access but pretty limited, so Evgeny decided to remove the battery, including the tray for the battery, and this will also give access for better video recording for all of you guys. The positive and the negative terminals are disconnected. 
also disconnect the BMS uh, sensor from the negative uh, side. There is a connector right here. And don't forget to remove the drainage from the battery itself. Вот такая вот планка держит аккумулятор. Дальше нужно откидывать боковую крышку. The cover here is held by four clips. Carefully undo them. Next, 8 mm socket. Remove the four bolts that hold the tray. Вот раз, два, три, четыре, четыре болта держит. And finally, we gain a really good access to the vacuum pump. This is the valve that the cause for their problematic sound while the engine is running. There is a uh, torque screw that holds the valve to the vacuum pump. We're gonna remove the screw, disconnect the hose from the valve. We're gonna take apart the valve and see in what condition the membrane is at. And you don't have to remove the battery box, but for video footage, uh, we did it. Torx 25, remove the screw. After removing the valve, <coughs> we can see the internals. We can see this red uh, rubber membrane, but there is also supposed to be a plastic mesh, which is missing. It's actually sitting inside the housing. So make sure to carefully pry it out. And here is the plastic mesh, which was uh, tucked inside the housing. Make sure you don't lose it. And this might be the cause for the sound. When this mesh falls off, the membrane doesn't work as it's supposed to. So this was the probably the cause for the problem.
carefully pry the hose off using a flathead screwdriver. Now, the Volvo original valve is really, really expensive. It's around 100 US dollars, which is very high price for such a small part. There is an alternative. Uh, there is already people that manufacture just the rubber membrane. Yevgeny purchased two of those because they are cheap compared to the new Volvo part. There is not enough statistics for this part, but why not give it a try? This small uh, rubber membrane hopefully will last for a while and it's a lot cheaper than buying the new Volvo valve. So we're gonna give it a try and all the links will be in the description below. This is the original uh, membrane, uh, which is still pretty in good shape. It's not torn, it's very flexible. The problem was that the mesh fell off and it didn't hold the rubber in place. Uh, Evgeny will install the new aftermarket membrane and reinstall the mesh. So check yours and make your decision what you want to do. Get the membrane or get the new expensive Volvo valve. So after cleaning the housing uh, time to reinstall the new uh, rubber membrane. Um, pay attention to the orientation. Uh, that little uh, nipple should be facing uh, outwards. The plastic mesh, uh, make sure you correctly install it. So uh, this is the outside, this is the inside. And as Evgeny suspected, his intermittent uh, uh, problem was that the mesh fell out for some reason and it didn't hold uh, the membrane uh, in place and this was causing one of the EGR components, one of the flaps to flap all around which makes this uh, uh, noise while the engine is running. Um, so make sure to check your membrane. If it was torn, if it was the membrane that was torn then you would, would have a constant uh, noise. Hopefully uh, this will uh, repair the problem. Now it's time to check uh, for operation. You should blow air through one side and it shouldn't let air from the other side. Air flows uh, one direction but not the other. Uh, let's give uh, a try with the original membrane. Reinstall and hear that. The old one is also operational. And again the problem was in the loose mesh. And uh, for some reason the new membrane makes that sound, but don't worry, in the car you will not hear that. Uh, make sure to clean uh, uh, the space where it sits, make sure there is no sand or oil.
Valve is in its place, the hose was reconnected. And now reinstalling everything back in reverse. And to the moment of truth, let's hear it. A few weeks later, Evgeny says that there is no more noise like before, so the repair was uh, performed uh, nicely. Hopefully this video will help you guys. Uh, let's uh, thank Evgeny for all this hard work. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.